we're kind of smoke screen now. We're gonna run our coolant into the exhaust, causing the white smoke to happen. It's over, dude. You can start it now if you wanted to. Uh -oh. Give me one second, let me check one thing. This switch is for the starter car, but it doesn't start, so I gotta test all the wires again. But maybe we have a f***ed up fuel pump, too. This is one of those fine automobiles that has a fuel pump inside the gas tank. It decided to quit on us on the final day. We gotta drop the fuel tank and put a new fuel pump in it. The clamps are loose, right? Oh, yeah. We thought we'd be done in an hour. Now, this is gonna take us right down to the wire. By this time, I thought we would've been done already. But we still have a lot to do. I am worried about the time a little bit. We just try to keep pushing forward, staying positive. I really don't give a f about the paint job. Let's go do the electrical. Put a new fuel pump in it, but uh, we're still not getting fuel. Try putting some more gas, but it doesn't sound like the ignition's kicking on. It's not getting sparked. We've been at it for three hours and we still haven't fixed it. This is killing us. What do we have left, guys? Hour and a half. All right, an hour and a half. That's, you guys, that's an eternity. Just keep pumping. How does it look? As far as steering wheel goes, we're going to leave that without an airbag, give it a rugged stance look. I'm over it. I want you guys to work like you've never, ever worked before. Yeah, just keep cranking. There's a fire. Oh, shit. Get off the car. Hey, 20 minutes, guys. 20 minutes. things did get left out, but the things we finished, we did really well. RV Tech, you guys lost Eugene pretty early on. How did you manage with only three guys? I've got a really strong team behind me and put in a few extra hours and got it done. I'll be looking at each team's interior work, your exterior work, your creativity, and your execution. And remember, teams, reputations are on the line here, and the winning crew gets to drive away with both cars. First up, Speedwork Motorsport. Bring it on. notch on every modification we did. I think they should judge us on spirit because we probably put more spirit into this than anything else. Wow, this vehicle looks mean. Well, I gotta say first off that I love the custom front grille. It's a great way to extend your theme. I love the safari market. It makes the vehicle look really rugged, like you could bust through some doors. So tell me about these bad boys. Well, the wheels are 18 by 9 and a half inch width with a really low offset to bring them out past the body line of the car. Well, I love the choice in the, the tire and the wheel. I love the fact that you, again, brought the camo into the wheel and extended your theme. Let's check out the inside. All right, guys, so tell me what you did here in the interior. Well, we took the armored painting into the cab also. We did the floor. We did the doors. We also applied bulletproof sheeting to the doors. Took the airbag out of the steering wheel. Gave it a raw look. 
The switch panel in the front controls all of the fog light functions, including the night vision camera and the smoke screen. Well, I can definitely see where you guys went for the function instead of the form. And there's just a few things that kind of blare out at me, like the steering wheel maybe should be covered. There's also looks like the center console got taken out. So if you guys could have built something there, that would have been cool. Yeah. Your outside was so great and everything just really flowed well. There's just bits and pieces missing. It feels like you guys ran out of time. All right, guys, let's see what else you did to the rest of the truck. This gun is awesome. All right, so tell me what happened in the back. Well, first thing we decided was to chop the back half okay. of the truck off. We built a roll cage right into the frame of the car. We mounted this assembly okay. to the gun. This little turret. Which, uh, point, move around. Just badass. Wow, that's awesome. So this thing actually has a camera in it. And I can send it anywhere for surveillance, right? That's pretty hot, right? Definitely an awesome touch to add to your theme. Really creative. I'm very impressed with that add-on. Wow, smoke screen? Great idea. Really goes well with your theme. Well, guys, definitely an awesome job. Looks like it's ready for action. Let's check out your competition. RV Tech, you're up next. Uncover your vehicle. <laughs> I feel really good about the build. It really showed all my guys' individual talents. I'm sure we'll be happy with the results. Wow, this car looks as equally as badass as that one. Tell me about the paint. The paint is actually real military paint. We researched it, and actually 2007 military vehicle uses this color. Well, I love the fact that it's flat and it looks like a military vehicle. Oh, the same wheel from there, just a different <laughs> variation. There's a lot of uh, uncanny similarities. I like it, it gives it a different feel. It's very different from theirs. Theirs feels a lot more rugged. This feels a lot more street urban. Let's take a look at your interior and see what's in this bad boy. Kind of excited. Can't see in there. Holy moly. This interior blows my mind away. Well, let's start with these three screens right here. I'm assuming this is how you drive the car. Yes, that's how you drive the car. So you guys got rid of the ignition button. Yeah. And how, how does it feel when you drive it? So it feels, feels like driving a video game, yeah. yeah. I love the fact you ripped out the whole interior and built this custom new console. Did amazing work. Let's go check out the back. All right, so what is all this? We cut the back section off the back of the truck. All right, sounds familiar a little bit. What is this exactly? This is a small launcher. Okay. Bombs away! Can is a very cool touch, but it feels a little bit kiddish to me. Kind of more of like a toy. But overall, though, what you guys have done in the interior is sheer amazing. I think I've seen enough. This is going to be a close one, RJ. Yes, it is. Where do we stand? Speedworks, you really had fun with a the military theme. Your vehicle looks mean and ready for battle. However, the fit and finish of your interior is a little bit lacking. RV Tech, I am very impressed with this special ops vehicle. The fit and finish of the body is a 10, with the paint to match. But I lose the kitty cannon, it doesn't help your cause. All the hard work shows on both military vehicles. But because of consistency and style, the winner is... RV Tech. but I feel our car is much better than yours. Speed work, I'm sorry guys, but it's time to hand over your keys. Your car looks like a rolling video camera. What kind of damage can you do with a camera? I feel sorry for the other guys, but you gotta be a good sport about it. And I'm really happy that everything came together and we won. I'm glad that even though we had a three-man team, we still pulled it off, and I'm really proud of the guys that work with me. The other car, I think we're going to take it to Ensenada and do a little Baja driving. I feel great. 